What's up guys? I wanted to do the book review for this book, uh, Jacinto's Remnant, yesterday, but I wasn't able to. I ran out of time. But since today is Dedication Tuesday and it's still Gears of War month, I decided that I'd just do it today. This is the spoiler-free version. For those of you that want to read it, uh, spoiler-free version of Jacinto's Remnant, Gears of War, the second novel. It's also written by K Karen Travis, which is, a, a, she, she wrote all the Gears of War novels. There's four right now, and there's, she's writing the fifth one, uh, which is called The Slab, and I'm super excited for that one, because that one's, pro that one's going to go into Marcus's time in the, in prison, and that's one thing that has never been discussed. Uh, little hints have been thrown here and there, and Marcus has given just little bits and pieces of it, but not that much. We don't know what happened to Marcus in the slab. So that book is, that that doesn't come out till May 2012, though. It's like, oh, that's a long time. But it's going to be a really, really good book, I think. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about this book. But let me just say, this is another really good book. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know if you remember, but in the other... In my other review, I talked in the first book review, um, I said that the first, the, like the prologue, the first few pages of the book is first person. And in the, in, in Asphalt Fields, the first book, it was Dom. Dom was, it, it was a point of view of Dom and he was, it was spoken in like I, so it's first person for Dom's point of view. In this one, it's Cole's. Coltrane. But it's just the prologue, so it's just a few pages. It's not like the whole book. It's just the first pages. Um, but I've noticed that whoever it starts with, it's almost like the whole book has a lot of that character in it. Like a lot of what they're thinking and a lot of their interpretation of stuff. So the first book, um, it was a lot about Dom. So I think that's why she does that whole first person point of view in the beginning. Um, since it started with Dom, the book had a lot to do with Dom. Um, and this one, she starts off with Cole. It's not like the book has a lot to do with Cole, but Cole does come out a lot. You find out a lot of how Cole reacts to things and what he thinks about things and stuff like that. So um, it's not about Cole, but a lot of his a lot of his points of view are in the book. Again, all of uh, the Gears of War books are present and past. It jumps from present and past, and it doesn't. It, she does a really good job about it. Uh, it doesn't bother me. It bothers some people, so I don't know what you guys might think about that. But first few chapters, she'll do like maybe two chapters in the present, and um, and then she'll jump into the past all of a sudden. And the storyline for Asphalt Fields, the past was Asphalt Fields, like when they stole the um, the blueprints for the Hammer of Dawn, uh, Carlos's death, and all that. And the past for this book is the um, the Hammer Strikes of on Sarah, and the Hammer the Hammer Strikes were when they when the humans used the Hammer of Dawn. This isn't a spoiler, just because this is mentioned I think it's even mentioned in the games like a split second it was mentioned it's mentioned in Gears of War 3 that's for sure so it's not really a spoiler but the only thing is that not a lot of people know what that means when they mention in the game they're like what because they don't go into it they just mention it like they'll say oh this this was one of the places I got hit by the hammer strike and you're just like what was that well I don't get it that's this is what this is what the hammer strikes were basically what it was is it's called the hammer strike because uh the the cog jacinto since jacinto um is the like one Eferia, it's called Eferia, um Eferia, Eferia, i don't remember how to pronounce it but where jacinto is it's like the capital the the locusts haven't been able to to cut through jacinto so it's like the 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 last human stronghold so what the hammer strikes did was they used uh, Prescott, the chairman, decided this was like in the very beginning of the Locust Wars. This was, I think, at like a year after E-Day, after the, lo the Locust emerged from underground. So uh, the human humanity was like going to hell. The Locusts were completely wiping them out. And Prescott was like, we have to do something about this. And the way that the locusts were being supplied with all their guns and all that was by looting cities on Sarah. 
So Prescott was like, what if we destroy all of Sarah except for Jacinto, since Jacinto can't be, um, can't be attacked by the locusts because they can't get through to it. What if we destroy all of Sarah and destroy all of, uh, the, the, the locust supplies so that they can't, they can't, um, keep resupplying, you know? So they don't have anything to use against us eventually. So that's what Prescott thought that would be a good idea. So that's what they did. They used the Hammer of Dawn and they basically destroyed all of the cities in Sarah. I think it says like almost 99% of Sarah was destroyed. Um, they didn't really go, they didn't really destroy the islands. A lot of islands um, in Sarah weren't weren't destroyed just because the locusts can't really get to, to the islands because of the ocean. But everything on Sarah, like on ground, was wiped out completely. So they killed a lot of people, humans. Like the cog actually wiped out people and that's what this is about the ones behind the whole thing was adam phoenix because he's the one that did the, the hammer of dawn prescott and hoffman and there's just this it's, it's really good because you you get to see the guilt behind it um the reasoning behind it uh whether it was a good idea or not and um but it, it it's really cool to see how the characters react to it. You also see in the past, you see what happens to Hoffman's wife, because I told you in the other book Hoffman was married. Um, now he was married in, he got married like during the Pendulum Wars, like before the Locust emerged. But afterwards, um, this is where you find out what happened to her. This is another thing that, that is not a spoiler, because uh, it's mentioned in the games, that Dom's kids, Dom had two kids, they died. They were killed um, when the when the locust emerged. And in this book, you get to see Maria's psychological state after that. Um, it's been probably like a year after the kid's death or something like that. So Maria, she, you you get to see what happens um, with Maria and how she is after that, which is pretty interesting. You really find out a lot about Dom in that situation. Now things that are going on in the present, I really liked the present for this book. The present storyline in this book was uh, I think uh, um, a little more enjoyable than the present of Asphalt Fields. I really like the past of Asphalt Fields, but this one, the present, is pretty good. It's pretty enjoyable. It's pretty uh, it's pretty cool because you get to see the characters um, during downtime because the, the present in this book takes place immediately after Gears, Gears of War 2. Immediately. They're still in the helicopters. The way that Gears of War 2 ended, where they sunk Jacinto underwater, um, and the helicopters are taking off, that's where it takes off. They're, they're, this, this book, that's where it starts. They're still in the helicopters, because a lot of people are like, oh, what, what, what happened afterwards? This is what happened. So it's, it's pretty cool. They're still in the helicopters. Um, you find out where Bernie was during all of this because Bernie wasn't even in Gears of War 2 when she was it, when it comes to the storyline she was there but she wasn't she wasn't mentioned and she wasn't shown in Gears of War 2 you find out where she was during everything you find out where the survivors go to relocate temporarily after that like where the hell did they go if that's where you find out the struggles they have there because they have a lot of struggles because it's during the uh, they, they're actually, actually their seasons are not the same as ours. It's not like winter, fall. It, they're, 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 they're different. Like sometimes, like one of them is called bloom. Um, I think bloom is probably the equivalent of fall. But right now they're in the season that's equivalent to winter. I can't remember what it's called, but um, so it's really cold and they're going through struggle. They're struggling a lot there. It goes through that. And the island of Vectis, that's the island that they're on in Gears of War 3. Um, you find out how they got there. Why did they choose that island? How how they got there? Uh, that that's where you find out here why that became even uh, why that why Vectis even became um, an option on Vectis. There's no more locusts, but they have more problems, other problems, uh, probably just as bad. You get to see more downtime with the gears, which is really cool because you get to um, you get to see experience like 
how the gears are with each other when they're not fighting and they're just like, you know, talking or playing a card game and stuff like that. This book is actually where you find out where uh, what's going on with the Anya and Marcus relationship. You also find out about what happened to Bernie in my other review uh, for the for, for Asphalt book for Asphalt Fields. Um, I talked that Bernie. I was t I talked about Bernie being away, like not not where the cog was. She used to be a, a soldier. She was a sergeant back in the Pendulum Wars, but then she got separated when the when the whole E-Day thing came around and all that. So she was trying to get from where she was to the COG and she took I think 10 years to get there um, because she went through a lot of stuff and this is where you find out some of the things that she had to go through um, which are pretty interesting. They're pretty... They're, it kind of, it's kind of sad the things that she had to go through, um, and uh, but I like it because it really develops her cut her character. Really makes you um, understand why she is the way that she is, and it also uh, makes you understand the relationship between Bernie and Hoffman because they've known each other for forty years, and it just this this whole situation with, that Bernie reveals. Um, just brings her and Hoffman a little closer and it's just cool to see. But that's basically what this book is about. There's a lot of things that happen. I don't want to go into it so that you guys, since this is spoiler free, those are the major things that go on in here. They start finding out that something's going on towards the end, that something's just not right. It, I, I can't really say which one I enjoyed more, this one or Asphalt Fields, but like I said, I really liked the present in this one. This one I really really liked the present. I was like really hooked on it. The past is interesting as well but this uh, I, 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 the present was cool to see because it, it just really takes you into a different t side to Gears of War because Gears of War is very, it's always like the locust and the locust and this one you just see a different kind of battle between between people, between humans. So I, I definitely recommend it and trust me once you start reading one book if you really like Gears of War and you like to read um, I know a lot of people that does this doesn't apply to, to some people but in my opinion you start reading Asphalt Fields and you're just not gonna wanna stop reading like you're not it's not like it's not gonna be like oh well that was a good book I don't wanna read this next book but it, you, pro you probably will be very tempted to be to read this book after reading Asphalt Fields Especially because it takes place right after Gears of War 2. And that's what I love. Because it's like, oh my god, this is exactly what happened right after Gears of War 2. And, and if you guys are playing Gears of War 3, a lot of things that are in Jacinto's Remnant show up in Gears of War 3. So it, 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 reading the books really makes you understand Gears of War 3 a lot more. And trust me, oh, there's a lot of references of the books in Gears of War 3. Like, I've been playing it and I'm like, oh my god! Oh my god, look at Oh my god, it's that one guy! Oh, I, I remember that! I swear. Every moment. And you know why? Because Karen Travis, the author of the books, she's the lead writer of Gears of War 3. So that's why there's so many things of the book in Gears of War 3. So if you guys are kind of confused about Gears of War 3, reading the books really makes Gears of War 3 more enjoyable because you understand what's going on and you're just like, oh wow! It's just, it's really cool. So uh, I definitely recommend reading the books. But read them in order. So it's Asphalt Fields and Jacinto's Remnant and then I'll go over this book um, maybe in a few days, depends on whether I finished reading it. I'm going through it again. I'm probably like halfway through. <clears throat> this is Anvil Gate. So I'll be going to, uh, over that maybe next week or in a few days. I don't know. Anyways, that's basically it for Jacinto's Remnant. Very good book. Definitely do recommend it. But for, for, for whatever reason, if you don't want to read Asphalt Fields or you tried to read it and you didn't like it and you just never tried to read this one, um, if you've played Gears of War 2, you could go ahead and start reading this book without reading Asphalt Fields. Because it's not like it continues after Asphalt Fields, it continues after Gears of War 2. So if you play Gears of War 2, you can start reading this book and I think you'll be, um, you'll understand a lot. Except you won't really know who Bernie is, because Bernie 
was um, introduced in Asphalt Fields. Depends on you, whatever you want, I don't know. I would recommend reading them in order, all of them, but if you don't want to, whatever. I will be making a video that has spoilers where I go into in depth uh, with Jacinto's Remnant. For those of you that don't want to read it but want to know what's going on, I will be doing a video of that maybe later today. So uh, expect that. That's going to be a little longer. I don't think it's going to be as long as the one from Asphalt Fields, but um, yeah. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that was uh, that was interesting and informative. If you guys have any qu uh, questions or comments, let me know and I'll talk to you guys later.